Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Toy bones, look at the size of it. We've got to tell the others. No, 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 no. We can't tell anyone yet because we do not know the power invested in this object. Fine, then I'll have to pick it up. Wait, wait, no, Kermit. We don't know its power. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What did you do? Whoa. Um, it's gone. That's because I have it. But wait, all the stones are gone. I'll have to find them, and I will win. Well, we're screwed. No, no, no we're not, Wallace. Well, maybe not. What if I find one of those interdimensional time machines? I think we've made one a couple years back, Robert and I. We could go back to the laboratory and check that out. Well, I suppose that could... Wait, wait, did you say time machine or dimension machine? I said interdimensional time machine. It means it can travel through time and at the same time go to other dimensions. It's a several functioning machine. Man, Wallace, you're a genius, dude. Why, thank you. It's from all the cheese, I think. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Never question the ways of the Wallace. Well, here it is. My super interdimensional time machine. It's right here. This could take you to any time. Well, can we try it out? I suppose we could. Okay. 1987. Do you suppose we got up at the wrong time zone? Indeed we did, but at least we know it works. Hmm, it's not working. It's not- oh, it turned off completely. What do we do? <laughs> I seem to have found your little invention you've been creating, huh, Wallace? Oh, dear. 